Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo and I'm reviewing the last 19 days of results for an advanced risk. If you risk a minimum of $1,500 a trade, some were slightly less, some were a little more, but $1,500 is a conservative risk. So if you had risked that in the trading room with my calls, you would have made $41,565. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. So the best gap for the last month and a half, without a question of a doubt, was Kate. And the reason I'm pointing this out is because it had huge amounts of institutional selling, which is why it was a big trade the day of the gap. It had earnings, and also it has followed through, it has continued, it has held. It has held the weakness. Unless something drastic changes in this chart, Kate looks lower to me. And so that is the beauty of my system, or the genius, I should say, is that it predicts institutional selling and buying, and that's how you make money, whether you do it as a day trade, whether you do it as a swing trade, or whether you do it as an option trade. I mean, you, the, I'm showing this all the way back here for several years, but I'm making the point. This is going back eight plus years to show you the transition of cake and how it rallied and how it was in an uptrend and how it all looked great. And it collapsed. I mean, it literally collapsed on the day of the earnings there back a few weeks ago. So July was a good month, okay? Off the beginning of the month, this wasn't even a whole month period. It was only 19 days. Pet was good. Spy was rough. The first one was a loss. Second one was a winner. LB was a nice short. WFC, which was Wells Fargo, another good one. Off on the 16th, Netflix was tough. Netflix was a loser. Two shots at that, just couldn't get it going. MS worked, UAL worked, eBay, amazing, amazing gap in eBay, really nice short. SKX, loser, G was a winner. Off on the 23rd, SPY was a winner. General Motors was a winner. Facebook was rough, but it worked out in the end. Twitter was a very good gap. 30th off, LL was a winner on the last day of July and then started out the month with cake. I mean, cake, I had 100% conviction in cake, and we went over it in the room over and over, and people just... I don't know. A lot of people in the room didn't see it as well as I did. I was so clear on that. Trip was another one. 100% conviction. Loved it. Trip was a good gap. SYMC, winner. Off for a few days. DBX was Dropbox. That worked good the first day on Friday, but the second day on Monday was even better. Didn't even watch it on Monday. Forgot about it, but that followed through. Q's was along on the Tuesday, and actually, no, that was Monday and Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. And then HD was a loser. So all in all, 41,565 for 19 days results. That's really good. Some people don't even make 40 grand in an entire year, or they work the whole year to make it, let alone a month and a half for 19 days of work. And these trades, many of them were within minutes. Okay, some were a little bit longer. The queues took slightly longer today, took into lunch. Okay, took into, the, you know, a little bit after noon. But the point is that many of these trades, first of all, all these trades happen in one day. Okay, secondly, all of them were quick in and quick out, meaning you weren't in them from 9.30 to 4, all right? Either you got in and out in several minutes between 9.30 and 10, or you had to hold it a little bit longer, like today into lunch. And to have to hold a trade for an hour is really, honestly, not the end of the world. So you are looking to do this if you want a day trade to do something that does not require 8 to 10 hours of work per day. It does not require a 40 hour work week. There's so much money in the market, it's about getting the specifications and about the focus and about doing it with that focus and, and, and actually acquiring the knowledge and the skill which I have, which you would learn from me in the class and then applying it in order to proceed to make money in the market. So if you wanna learn what I know, I teach my method in the Golden Gap course. It's a two day class, the 18th and 19th. Cost of the class is $54.99. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. It's nine to five, full on Saturday and Sunday with an hour break for lunch. Class is online and I'm doing the trends class on Monday. So you get a discount if you do and pay for both at the same time. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, $59.99. That class is online too. You do it all at once. You learn how to do the long-term trends, which is in the trends. And then the golden gap is the 26 points and all the entries for the day trades. So if you'd like more information, feel free to reach out to me. It has been really a very strong, strong year. Looking to close this quarterly earnings season as strong as ever uh, into the Labor Day, and we'll see what we get. If you'd like to learn and start to trade and get in this month, email me if you want to sign up for the class this weekend at melissa at thestockswish.com.